Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures of Well A Man. Today we're going to be continuing our Museum of Gaming A to Z for the Nintendo 64. Uh, today we're playing Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Let's jump straight into it. I enjoyed the last one, even though it kind of ended with me jumping off into a river of death. <laughs> um, I didn't know the controls and I was losing a lot of life. And I just got to a point and uh, ended up jumping off and dying and restarted the level so I figured we'd end it at that point. Kind of sad I didn't actually get further. Um, definitely going to be gonna be looking at playing that game again. I really enjoyed it. Possibly on the channel, possibly just for my own sake. Um, yeah. I had lots of fun. Ooh. I can only play as one character this time. But there are four different character stories in this one. Similar opening. Um, I actually really, like I was saying, I'd never really played Castlevania before. I'd seen a little bit about it. I knew the general gist of it. I knew the story for most of them, actually. Like, the overall arcing story with Dracula and whatnot. Um, but I actually had a lot of fun playing it, and I'm considering going and buying some Castlevania games now. <laughs> um, yeah. But I'm looking forward to this. This is interesting stuff. Excuse me, will I drink my orange juice? I'm trying to get as many videos recorded as I can today. I'm going to record some more tonight after work and I've gone and cheated my student. Which will be great. Um, I cut it. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping, if possible, if I could get 14 videos recorded today, that's another two weeks of content I can get up for you guys. Not that I want to rush the content and make it bad, but I need content to be able to upload and yada yada yada. This is the fourth video I've recorded today. I just need to be mindful that I don't ruin, I mean <laughs> ruin, yeah ruin the recording. Like when I did with um, I think it was Zelda and I had the whole thing freeze. That wasn't fun. Alright. Ooh, this is cool. Even though the graphics are very similar, I feel like there was a little bit of a step up in some of the design elements. Not so much the graphics, just I guess the overall design that they've given it. get to start playing. <laughs> I really want to start playing these games. I, I've, um, like I was saying, I've never really been into Castlevania. Not that I haven't... <sighs> Let me phrase that. I've never really played Castlevania. I would really like to get into them now. Because this is enjoyable. So, yeah, I, I just, I, I think I'd really like to buy... Um, some of the games, some of the older ones that I haven't played. Ada! <sighs> that was a little bit weird. That is all I'll say to that. Pick up the necklace and run, boy. of the ancients, this man-beast warrior obtained a physical body of near immortality and a power that surpasses that of a wild beast. 
The man-beasts, choosing to live harmoniously with humans, sealed away their enormous magical powers to prevent them from being used. However, through severe ascetic training, Cornell acquired the art for releasing the sealed man-wolf power. After a year of traveling and ascetic training, Cornell rushed back to his village, only to find that evil spirits had set the village on fire, engulfing the village in a lotus flower of flames. His only living blood relative, his sister Ada, was carried away by the evil spirits. Now, he must save her. Cornell uses the man-wolf's acute sense of smell to track the scent of his sister's blood. Reinhard Schneider, Carrie Fernandez. We go back eight years in time, before the period in which these two young warriors risked their lives battling against the devil. Now, the truth that has been shrouded in the gloom of darkness will be revealed. So one thing I do know about um, the Castlevania games is that they're not, they weren't released in the order of the story. Um, they're kind of all over the place, so you got to play them in different, in a different sequence. I believe, I believe that's the case. That's what I've read and heard, so if I'm wrong, correct me. <laughs> um, so you kind of really do have to play them all to understand the overall story, but it like you play one and then next time you might play another one and it'll explain the backstory behind um, like what, what happened. Oh, this is cool. So I feel like this is slightly better designed than the previous one with just a few of the simple controls maybe. I'm gonna go around and actually collect these things this time. Ooh, that is a little bit awkward with some of the control there. Hmm, that was fun. That was a long intro to the game though. That's the only thing I'll say. I do... As much as I love good backstory, I do like getting into a game really quickly and being able to play it and not have to sit around waiting for a long time. So, it's kind of half-half, isn't it? Like, in some aspects it's... Whoa. In some aspects it's good. Okay, so the controls... Ah, there we go. I was trying to work out if we could change the camera angle. I didn't want to be stuck. I don't know what red jewels do, that's why I want to collect them. Um, I feel like they're kind of important, that's all. Oh, we've got Nash. Oh yeah, so some of the, like, it's got a very similar layout to how the game was um, presented last time. But, some of the little things have changed, so rather than uh, the like, where the red jewels are at the moment, in the previous game, it didn't have um, the number of red jewels, I believe, it had the number of um, like throwing knives and that that you had. I believe that was the case. <laughs> I am struggling with this right now. Okay. Oh, the red jewels are your ammunition. Okay, that... kind of makes sense, I think. I'm not really doing anything to that. Okay. That's annoying. Oh, did I want that? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Ooh. 
Okay. Yes, let's rotate the mast. Okay, this is actually really interesting. It's a very interesting start to the game, I must add. Um, just the, the general gist of it, is that what I'm trying to say? Although, in saying that, some of the controls are a little bit off. And I feel like I'm not really in a good place right now. Ah, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. What is that noise? Yeah, take that. Take that. Bam, bam, bam. Power up. Don't know a hundred percent how the power ups work. Haven't worked. Oh, haven't worked that out yet. Come on, come on. Roast chicken. Okay. So there are some awkward controls about this game which I'm not uh, not 100% a fan of some of the direction but overall I guess it's alright ah oh, man it's so fidgety I think that's the issue that I'm facing with right now that it's fidgety Okay. Again, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure what's going on here because I should be able to get up there. I'm. I don't even know if I have to get these. That's the thing. I'm just trying. I'm gonna say I probably don't have to waste my time doing this, and I probably could just go into the the door over here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try that. Okay. I'm still, I am enjoying it, it's just... Yeah. It's a bit fidgety. I definitely, it's like, it's, whoa. Yeah, and it's definitely not like this is going to be like the end of, of of the game for me, the fact that it's got some awkward controls. Because like, I'm enjoying it. I think that's the main thing. Like, as long as I'm enjoying the game, it's good. Alright. 
I think maybe the at the time it was kind of pushing its uh, limits for what a role-playing game can be like in like this sense action adventure role-playing game um, that was more focused on like lots of battle or something um, I'm thinking whoa I'm thinking more in terms of like Mario is very, very different to this kind of game. Oh, there we go. I think we've beaten them all now. And then we should have a boss, maybe? Because in Mario, you just jump on the head of, like, the enemy. Whereas this is much more complicated. And I feel like that's the difference in the gameplay if, um, because this is all about like pressing a certain button to use an attack at a certain time to hit an enemy that it might it might have been a little bit too complicated at the time and I bet like now that like, games have changed and the abilities in games have changed it might work a lot better but definitely at the time I think Um, I mean, it's innovative. I'll give it that much. Whoa! Come on, let's go. I don't even know like what the point of going down to that room was. Is it just to kill some of those like mer people things? I don't even know. The fish people. I said the ship's broken. <laughs> what now? <laughs> oh look. Conveniently, everything is... Oops! <laughs> Continue. Okay. I did the same as last time I died. Um, I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, only thing is, um, the controls are a little bit clunky. <sighs> what did I give the last one? Seven. Look, I'd actually give this maybe a seven as well. It, it looks good. It hasn't really improved on the controls, but I definitely enjoyed it. And I definitely think I would sit down and play it for a fair amount. Um, in my own time, um, it was it was a good game. I'll give it that. Um, yeah, so seven out of ten. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else I can say. It was actually a really good game. Um, I think it just there was a few things that could obviously be uh, altered, adapted, changed to work better. Anyway, have a great one, guys. If you enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up button. If not, that's all good. I'm not forcing you to do it. Um, share it with your friends if you want. Uh, all the support really helps. Um, I really appreciate it, and it um, gives me the drive to be able to continue uh, making these videos and getting them out for you on a daily basis. Um, like I said, I bulk record them, get them all up, get them going, um, kind of edit one a day. So, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this. Um, tomorrow we have Sender Court Tennis. We've got some other games coming out. We've got Clay Fighter, which uh, will be interesting. I think the one that I'm definitely looking forward to most out of all of the games in the C category is Conker's Bad Fur Day. Um, definitely a game that is uh, for a mature audience. I'm looking forward to that one. But until we get to that, because that's towards the end of the C games, we've got a few more to go. Let's have some fun. And tomorrow we'll be playing Center Court Tennis, so look out for that one. Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the previous video for this series, click the top left video. If you want to check out my favourite videos from my own playlists, check out the bottom one where I've compiled them all together for you to check out. And if you're not subscribed, you can hit my logo up in the top right to subscribe. Again, thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.